My name is Luis Castillo uh, and welcome to a Chingu education session. Today we are going to talk about how to work with Git and GitHub. This is a very uh, tool that is very helpful to work in collaboration and as a team with all the developers. We're going to talk about Git and GitHub and how to use them. Um, let's dive in. First, um, let's talk about what is Git. Um, as you can see, Git it is a DevOps tool for source code management. It is an open source tool that anyone can download it for free. Git is often used to track changes in your code and allow developers to work together with the command line. Git is a very popular and over 95 of developers globally use them. So trust me, this is a very uh, tool that you will be using all the time uh, when you're working, um, you know, the as a group and also working on collaboration in other projects. Um, what is GitHub? GitHub is a code hosting platform for version control and collaboration owned by Microsoft. GitHub also allows developers to host and manage they code online. Developers use them to create projects like open source and also work as a team with multiple developers by creating repositories. GitHub is a very popular as June 2022, uh, GitHub has an 83 million user and it's a very easy tool to use. Um, there are other ones uh, like Bitbucket, GitLands that um, companies and people using but github is one of the main one um where companies and just developer are using and the good is that it is free open source you can use it anytime um so let's go and say how to use uh git and github so first of all we're gonna go to a few commands um how they kind of work uh, and what they are. The first one we have is uh, git init. So this command is used to initialize and enter git repository. So as soon as you open, let's say, uh, a folder with your uh, terminal, I mean, your command uh, program, for example, uh, Visual Studio, uh, you can do git init and it will start initializing uh, a repository part to track git. The next one is git remote add origin. Um, if you can see, it's it go by git, remote, and add origin. And then the uh, link of your um, GitHub. So this is found when you create a repository. Uh, you will have a, a link uh, to download. Also, you, you will find it when you do a git clone. So this command allow you to add a remote repository to your project uh, on your computer. Let's go to the next one, which is git add dot. This command is used uh, to add all your changes files to the state change. Um, every time you are making a code change on your code, um, you wanted to um, start basically doing git add dot. So that will, the that it basically will add all the changes anywhere you um, made a, uh, a change on any files. The next one is git commit uh, dash aim and call you add a message. Uh, so this command allow you to commit all the stage files and messages for commit history. Now, if you start the message commit in the present tense, um, try to keep in the present tense. Um, there are other debates that all the developers that you're trying to, uh, they do past tense, but I will say just do it whichever one you're more comfortable. Um, but the point over here, when the first part you do, there are steps. So you do git add, and then the follow command is something like this, uh, git, add, git commit dash m and you add a message about what you made on your code. 
the next uh, command is a git push origin and a branch name. So this command is used to push all your commit files to your remote repository. The branch name is the branch where your code will be pushed. Uh, mainly there is, uh, let's say in GitHub, there is uh, a branch called main. Uh, by default, so let's say if you're working in your main branch um, and you already finished your code, um, you want to push them. So the last co uh, commit code part here, they will do is git push origin and you put the branch name. In case, let's say if you're working with the main, this will be git push origin main. And your code is going to be pushed to your uh, main branch. The following um, command here in Git, it will be Git branch. Uh, this command allows you to use create a branch name on your local computer. So let you, whenever you are working as a team with all the developers, um, you need to work on your branch. And then how do you start this is with this command. Git branch, and then you put your branch name. Um, you can call the branch name whichever way name you want, but try to be consistent to what you're gonna be working on. Um, let's go and to the next uh, command. We do a git checkout branch name. This command allows you to switch from branch to branch. So the previous um, command git branch it allows you to create a branch but those are basically when you create a branch you are not in the branch so you need to go into your branch and the way you go to your branches by following doing this command here and you do git checkout let's say you create a previous branch um, uppercase letter uh, that you're working on so you do something to get into that branch it's a uh, git checkout uppercase and then you will find it and then you get into it um the next one is git pull this is a command it's used to get your latest code from your remote repository note as well uh, this command executes two commands together under the hood so this is a very um com common um you know code that is going to be used so if you are working um as a developer you know with a team and you are working on a branch try to do constantly a git pull so you can have your later branch this will help you to not have merge conflict so if you are working on a branch for three days but all the developers are pushing already uh, code to the repository. Um, your branch is kind of behind. So the way you to get your branch up to date with the latest code is by doing git pull uh, or git pull from the branch you want to get the code from. And like I say here, this is a uh, this command. It does two commands under the hood, which is like git fetch. Uh, to get the uh, you know the branch um, from the remote and then uh, have your code available on the remote but then you want to merge it so git merge uh, to your code and branch so by just doing git pull you are executing these two uh, command under the hood um, let's go to the next one okay so this is the last one here um, like I say, I wanted to show um, one of the common um, case scenario where we get developers get and other working as a, together, which is um, a game merge conflict. Developers are getting these um, issues and basically don't know what to do. Um, I'm gonna provide a, a simple example um, how to the merge conflict happens and also how to resolve them. Um, so what I did was I already created a, uh, I already created branch, uh, a repository on my GitHub. Uh, so I'm going to bring um, 
to the scenario I'm putting here, it's to um, if you are seeing uh, it's a gym computer, so this will represent gym computer and Louis computer here. Uh, I'm gonna put them side by side and these terminal here. So as we talk, and there was uh, one of the command that we present and uh, in order to initialize that rep a repo uh, in order to track those things uh, the command would do it would be get in it so get in it it will automatically start tracking git and you get this bunch of messages here uh, I'm gonna clear these part here uh, also, let me see if I can uh, zoom in a little bit and zoom in this a little bit here so we can. So, so just pay attention in this part. We have this is two developer kind of let's say just imagine two developer working as a team and they are um, having. Let's say Jing is working here, so he already run get in it to initialize that. Uh, Louis will also do that. And I'm gonna clear it to have this more clean. And let me try that here. So the next thing is, um, let's say Jane start working. Um, let me just start getting the template and things that it will have. Uh, as an example, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a file here. It's gonna call I'm going to H index HTML, and then in this file I'm going to just create a boilerplate for HTML5. And it's very. This is how it look. I'm gonna call this part here. Get and get up. Um, I will create an, an HTML, I mean, uh, an H1 back here, and I will call it Hello World. Right, so now that I add this here, I'm going to do uh, get add. So the gate add was going to allow me to add um, things to start to commit it. Uh, I can do that to add all of them. If I have more than one files, I can do this, and then it will and then make changes in both files. I can just do gate add and then the and that, and it will add all the changes. In this case, I only have one. So I can just uh, going to add the file index. And that's being added. Um, I'm going to run the command git commit dash m, and then in quote I'm going to add a message. Uh, I would say add hello world, and then close it with the parenthesis. Enter. So one file is being added. Eleven exceptions here, which is eleven lines. And the next one, I'm going to run. Typically, uh, GitHub has a main branch called main. So I'm going to follow that. And the way I do this, it will be git branch, um, that's capital M, and then go main. Now, my branch is go main. Um, now that I add these things here already, so I already uh, started a repository, so I'm going to um, add the remote um, repo to this uh, workspace. I'm already copy and then get copy and paste, so the command will be git remote add and origin and then the, the files as it has show. So after I do that, uh, press enter. Let me start clearing these a little bit so 
I can go to this top. And then now I'm ready to push this coal to my repo. So what I do is will be uh, get push uh, that you origin. And then my main branch. So doing this is being executed. New branch created, which is main, and everything it will be in my GitHub. So now, uh, Jane basically work on this, and it's been pushed. Um, Louis is going to be working as well uh, in another computer. Um, the way what I will do is, you know, we're gonna uh, work on that repo. So we're gonna add that um, repo which is would be the get remote at origin. I'm gonna copy it and go on. this computer is now is gonna be tracking uh, this repository. So uh, it's been there now. So the way I can do now, there is a, uh, a branch called main, which I can, uh, you know, try to do I'm go going to um, switch to that branch so get branch I mean get checkout and then main um, it say it was no one there available so I should be able to do a get pull get pull to try to bring me all of that and then now I should be able to do get branch get checkout Check out main. Yes, now I switch to the branch that uh, uh, it was created by Luis and it's now available. So if you had noticed, now the file that was um, in this computer here, it is here. And the same code, it's also available here. So let's, uh, let's make a scenario here. So Gene. Luis and James are working and they're working in this branch main same branch and then different files and but what happens is that um, Gene came over here and say okay I'm gonna add a code change so he did add and we'll say he added line 9 he can hit the space and then put Jin here. And Jin basically they get at uh, get commit. And he said he add Jin. Right? Jin is still working um, on his code. But in the other computer, Louis also came here in the same line. And he at uh, Luis. Then line, then part. And he also coming to get at. Get commit. And at Luis. Luis basically made just a simple change and he push it to the repository. So to do this, we do git push origin. And then we do main. To read the branch so that is being pushed now so right now um, let me clear this if I do a git log uh, git log will help you to see what is on the branch and what is basically it has there uh, this was done by Jim and the remote I had that and now when Luis did git push origin main uh, the remote branch uh, has this, which is the commit message at Louis. Right, so this is what the branch has. Remember, now Jim is still working, and let's say days happens, they pass two, three, and he's still working on that branch. Um, and then also, Jim made another. He's still continuing adding more code um, 
let's do now a p tag here. Uh, p tag message. Right, James still continue. Adding more code, add. We commit. And add a p tag. That's being added. So let's say Jim is ready. He wanted to push this code to the remote branch. So he wanna do a git push origin main. So what will happen here? He will he get an arrow. So let me uh try to if I can move this now here so we can get a very clear message view. So it was rejected and the reason why is because um, Jane doesn't have um, some code that it's already there if you see here it's already saying the updated was rejected because remote contain work that I don't have which is Jim so it's suggesting me to do a git pull so I will do, uh, I do a git pull, git pull and I want to do a pull from where? From the main branch. Uh, git pull main. If I do a git pull. Uh, say main does not appear to be in a repository. Okay. Alright. So let me just follow and do a git pull then. I do a git pull and it does work. So... I did a git pull and what happened now is I got a merge conflict. The merge conflict happens when two developers work in the same branch and same code or different branches but it touched the same uh, line of code. Um, G, uh, GitHub doesn't know what to do. G, uh, GitHub basically don't know which code it could be right or is wrong. Or just basically, this is why it can't resolve it by default. So when I did a git pull, I get a, a I basically get into the uh, the merge conflict, and I get the two scenario here. So hello world, Luis, is the current change, um, and then hello world. Jim is the incoming change. The current change mean is the change that it's right now already in the remote branch. And then hello world Jim is the incoming change that I want and trying to uh, add to it. So this is a very good communication you need to have as well and communicate with the other developer trying to resolve C and which code it could be the right one. Um, so I determine um, my code is basically the one that I, it needs to be there. So incoming change, I will do and I set an incoming change. When I do that, I can do and hit here or I can just delete all this and this part and just leave uh, hello world Jean. But if I do hit set uh, incoming change, then this is what happened. Um, so the suggestion also is telling me here is okay to resolve this image conflict. Martin has resolve, which is resolve now. Um, a hint is telling me to do a git add or remove the merge conflict, and then do a git rebase dash dash continue. Um, let's do that. So I already resolved the merge conflict uh, manually. So I said this is the code that is correct. I ain't do, doing that, I will do is now I'm going to do git add. And I'm going to add the where the merge conflict I resolved, the file where I did it, which was the index, right? So I do index. Um, so git add index. And what should I do now? Do, uh, let me get to a git rebase. Dash dash continue. What happened here, let me uh, move this a little bit up 
now it's telling me to add a commit message so I can do add a message here to do something there so I can press I to be to be able to type something here um, I can press enter and enter and I could say resolve marriage conflict now to get off from the insert press um, escape and now in order for you to get out of this mode part here um, you do shift and then colon which is the two dot when you get this you get this part so now in order to you for you to get out of this uh, it should be Q to quit but if you want to save the changes uh, it should be W and then you press enter uh, nope this is not like that not like that so shift uh, colon uh, WQ it should be the opposite and nice so it went through um, let me clear this out um, it seemed that it didn't do it um, let me go ahead back and do uh, get rebase dash dash continue um, let me see what I should do Okay, get okay, remain base right there. Okay. So let me try to do one more time get at index and then get rebase. base. That's that continue. Right, okay. It didn't take it. So just to get out of this, uh do to call in and let's do Q cool yes now it works so now I'm in the main branch I resolve the merge conflict I got Jane part here and the take message now I should be able to push um, that commit message so in order for you to do that now I will do it just a git push get push Origin main and cool great. So this is um, this is how you can resolve a merge conflict uh, within two developers. Um, and and yes, thank you for watching. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or, or anything that you wanted to know about. Thank you and see you for next time. Bye.